So in this video, I compare seven budget cubes under $5. And if you haven't subscribed yet, hit that subscribe button as I love watching this community grow. So here's how this is gonna work. One, I'm gonna briefly review each cube and give my personal opinion. And two, at the end of this video, I'm gonna tell you which stickerless and stickered cube I like best. All right, so question of the video, which cube would you buy for $5? Drop your comments below. All right, let's get into it. It's 55.5 millimeters. It weighs 71.8 grams. It was released August 26th, 2017. And I picked it up on the cubicle.us for $4.99. All right, so I have here the Yushin Little Magic. So initially I gave this puzzle a poor review. After working through the puzzle a bit, I realized it's actually an incredible buy for $4.99. It's pretty stable. Piece separation is great. Corner cutting is actually right at that 45 degree mark, possibly even past it at the 50 degree mark. Um, the risk of corner twisting and popping is greater in this puzzle because it's pretty loose out of the box, but you can always tighten that. Lastly, it comes stock pretty loose, which is always a plus. So for $4.99, this puzzle is a pretty great buy for anyone that wants a really fast puzzle. Again, it's not the most sturdy puzzle, but for the price, it blows most other similarly priced puzzles out of the water. It's 56 millimeters. It weighs 84.6 grams. It was released December 22nd, 2016. And I picked it up on the cubicle.us for $4.99. All right, so I have here the Mofang Geoshi MF3RS. Truthfully, this puzzle's pretty durable. It doesn't feel like a cheap puzzle. The piece separation could be better, but it really doesn't matter with this puzzle in my opinion. Corner cutting struggles at the 45 degree mark, but to be safe, I'd say this corner you can corner cut around the 30 to 40 degree mark. So again, it's not that bad. Uh, corner twisting and corner popping isn't that big of a problem because the tensionings are much tighter and the corner pieces have this built out edge. So what that does is it prevents more of the uh, corner twisting. So when I first unboxed this puzzle about six months ago, I got it with that Cubing Classroom collection. Well, in my case, I got it on Amazon with the Rock Send a Box set. Initially, I wasn't really that impressed. Granted, I was holding it to a higher standard with other puzzles that cost more money. So I wasn't really thinking about budget puzzles and how they could be good. So all in all, this puzzle has been a standard in the cubing community as a fantastic budget puzzle. And for $4.99, it's probably worth it. So for someone that prefers their puzzle a bit slower, uh, this would be a great puzzle for you. It's 60 millimeters. It weighs 107.5 grams. It was released March 6th, 2017, and I picked it up on the cubicle.us for $4.99. All right, so next I have here is the Chi Yi Sale. So it kind of reminds me of a much larger Mo Yu Aolong, and it functions about the same too. It has a very buttery feel, and it turns rather fluid. The piece separation is terrible, but tensionings can fix that a bit. Corner cutting isn't much better, uh, and it's not really, it's not really uh, cutting past the 30 degree mark. So overall, this puzzle is $4.99, and its only advantage is that it's large. It's not a bad cube, but it's just a hand workout. So I just unboxed this puzzle about two weeks ago, and I didn't really give it high marks because of its size. Then it was pointed out on my channel that this puzzle is primarily used for modding, which actually makes sense. But after about 20 or 30 solves, I managed to break the puzzle in, and it's actually pretty legit. So for the price, I wouldn't recommend it as a cube, but if you want a larger puzzle that's stable and has a buttery, smooth feel to it, uh, this puzzle's for you. It's 56 millimeters. It weighs 81.7 grams. It was released December 13th, 2016, and I picked it up on the cubicle.us for $3.99. So next here I have the Chi Yi Warrior W. So this review is gonna be a bit skewed. I've already set this puzzle up and it's a pretty amazing puzzle for the price, especially now that I've lubed it, all the joints and the uh, corner and edge pieces. So the piece separation compares to the Yushin Little Magic, but it feels more stable. Corner cutting is also just as good. It comfortably cuts that 45 degree mark and maybe a little bit past. Overall, this puzzle is buttery smooth and very stable. I would argue to say this is probably one of the best puzzles for the price at $3.99. If you want a solid and very stable puzzle that turns incredibly smooth, this puzzle is probably for you. It's 56 millimeters. It weighs 67.4 grams. 
It was released July 26th, 2017, and I picked it up on speedcubeshop.com for $4.95. So next here I have the Yushin Fire. Let me save you the time. This puzzle is absolute garbage, in my opinion. It feels very cheap. Piece separation is non-existent. Corner cutting is barely at the 10 degree mark, and it turns like it was lubed with sand. This puzzle would not be something I'd recommend you to buy if you want to improve your speed skills in any way. This is the puzzle you buy if you want to give up cubing because you become so frustrated with it. In my opinion, save the $4.95 and buy something much better. It's 56.5 millimeters. It weighs 79.1 grams. It was released March 25th, 2016. And I picked it up on speedcubeshop.com for $3.95. So next year I have the Shangxiao Legend. This puzzle's kind of awkward for me. I like the way it feels and turns, but the quality is not quite up to par. It's one of those puzzles you can feel good about the price, but will always be second or third best in most other quality budget puzzles. The piece separation is good, it corner cuts around the 35 degree mark. It turns really fast, but it has a clacky feel to it. It would probably improve a lot with lube, but you may want to put a bit heavier lube into the puzzle to avoid it being too fast. Overall, it's not a bad puzzle, it's just not an amazing puzzle. For the price, $3.95, you wouldn't hate yourself for getting it, but again, four bucks. It weighs 56 millimeters. It was released October 13th, 2014, and I picked it up on speedcubeshop.com for $3.95. All right, so lastly here, I have the YJ Guanlong. So this is the puzzle that I used for my Cosmic Lube set comparison video. On that video, I used the stickered puzzles, and though I did that video with those stickered puzzles, I'm not comparing those to the rest. I have here the stickerless cube that doesn't have any lube or tensioning adjusted. The piece separation is good, the corner cutting is better than expected. It cuts around that 45 degree mark, and with some medium lube, like again, the Martian lube, uh, it's much better. The sticker puzzles I feel are a bit higher quality than the sticker list, and I personally wouldn't recommend the stickerless Guanlong. It's the same price, and, and for that, honestly, it's a great buy. So again, under first impressions, I would have never thought this would be a decent puzzle, but again, for $3.95, it's pretty good. It just needs to be worked through a bit. So which stickerless puzzle and which sticker puzzle do I think is the best for under five bucks? Overall, I have to say the Chi Yi Warrior W is the best stickerless budget cube clocking in at $3.99. Mine is personally set up and lubed, but out of the box, its quality is unmatched. As far as stickerless cubes go, I'd have to personally say that the Yushin Little Magic is probably the best puzzle for $4.99. So nowadays, budget doesn't mean bad. And for under $5, you have so many incredible options. Obviously, there are some bad puzzles out there, but there are so many good puzzles. And nowadays, you don't have to have a lot of money to get a good puzzle. And if you're starting out cubing, you know, you could absolutely break away from the, the Rubik's brand puzzle you buy at Target. You know, for the same price, you go online and get two or three puzzles. Hopefully this video gave you some insights on what puzzle to spend $5 or less on. And if you found this video helpful in any way, please consider giving it a like. All right, do you agree or do you disagree? Comment any thoughts, questions, concerns, opinions in the comment section. And if you haven't subscribed yet, please consider doing that to stay notified on weekly videos. And as always, till next time, happy cubing.